Occasionally I get the idea of relocating and uh, sometimes I think about uh, moving to a different part of the country. Sometimes I think to, about the idea of um, re moving to another part of the world. And um, I've just come to the uh, rather disappointing conclusion that most of the Anglophile world, most of the Anglophone world, most of the Anglo world, most of the wor English speaking world kind of sucks these days. <laughs> um, and that I've really got it best where I'm at, basically, which is the southern part of the United States. That's probably, um, you know, uh, with, the, with the exception of um, the, uh, what would we call them, the northern mountain states like Wyoming and South Dakota and North Dakota. Uh, South Dakota, of course, I visited last year uh, out of a some idea of, you know, possibly moving there because even during uh, the uh, the ridiculous the ridiculous era, uh, they never uh, shut down their governors. Uh, some uh, Spitfire uh, hot lady, uh, rifle toting hot lady, uh, who's who's uh, uh, anti lockdown, um, and so all those things kind of. Uh, <clears throat> made me interested in just going there for a few days and checking it out, which I did, uh, and you can see my videos from that time period. That was February of, of 2021. <clears throat> At the time, I was, uh, it was shocking in a good way. It was liberating to go to be able to go to public events and see a bunch of people gathered together uh, without anything over their faces. It was wonderful. It was just. It, it made my heart uh, feel good at the time. And um, so maybe South Dakota is is a, a good place, but, and, and or the, the region, you know, the, the sort of, that sort of remote, rugged area that's not heavily populated, and there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, don't tread on me uh, types of people uh, who, who live out there. Um, you know, the American South, for all of its problems, um, I'm not saying that's anything close to perfect, but, uh, you know, it's the state that I've, that I've, um, that I'm living in, the state of, uh, Georgia, uh, is one where things opened up, uh, you know, the soonest, uh, after the ridiculous, uh, lockdown, uh, went into effect. Things were, things were already opening up here. Uh, just a couple months later, and they were pretty much everything was fully open by by June. Um, much of it, much was open by even by May. With some restaurants and and so forth, um, and everything else pretty much followed suit soon after that. So, uh, um, you know, the American South is is a pretty good place, uh, relatively speaking. To live right now, if you are somebody who's interested in uh, uh, living free uh, or dying hard, <laughs> um, you know Canada. Uh, sorry to sorry to any Canadians out there who who are doing the right thing, you know, like participated or in the trucker uh, uh, rebellion or or. Um, or supported it, you know, good on y'all, uh, and nothing against y'all, but, uh, your nation, why would, why would one want to move there now? Uh, it's, it's pl pretty much, um, uh, I know things have gotten incrementally better in the last few months there, but generally speaking, uh, you know, it's, and it's not just the prime minister. I know the prime minister, is not very popular right now, uh, and I know he is an egregious case uh, of the Western sickness, uh, you know, the, 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 the woke sickness, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, uh, so, and he's not going to be in power forever, no, but, but uh, I mean, it says something that the, the, that the people there uh, assisted him uh, coming to power and you know, supported him during the, during his, uh, his reign, 
of uh, of woke terror, let's just say. So Canada's out. I'm sorry guys, but Canada's pretty much out. Australia, I know things are probably better now than they were a few months ago, but Australia and New Zealand, God, what is with what is with you guys? Um, again, anybody who's watch, watching from those environs, who's with me, who who's down uh, down on the the subject of 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 liberty and of being anti-lockdown and and so forth, um, and anti the op and anti uh, NWO, anti build back better, anti the new normal, anti uh, great reset. You know, I know that, that people out there do exist, but how many of them are there in what, in, and in what numbers? Um, you know, I had thought, I think Australia was the place that really let me down because I sort of had this idea in my mind that the Australians were this, this feisty, uh, kind of, uh, kind of group who would, uh, you know, not put up with any crap. And, you know, there were, there have been, there, there, there has been a movement of those sorts of people who have fought against these these criminal uh, uh, measures that have been taken by the government there. But then, then I get you know uh, I, I post a video about you know the atroc atrocities taking place about the police you know uh, pepper spraying old ladies in the street, uh, knocking them to the street, and then pepper spraying them in the face and and you know uh, the kinds of activities that the, the kinds of brutalities that that uh, became normalized there just just like they were normalized in in oh so polite Canada during the the truckers rebellion um, and then I, I get something from somebody there saying hey don't don't worry about us mate we're good uh, you know we most of us most of us Australians are against these lunatics uh, who who uh, who are marching in the streets? Most of us are, are, are down with our government, uh, you know, locking us down and taking away our businesses. I know it's a terrible, terrible, terrible accent, but you know, uh, forgive me. Um, so there's that that's happening in Australia and New Zealand. It seems like it's even worse because it's uh, the the prime minister there is somebody who's you know. Uh, uh, some big head honcho in the WEF, the world, you know, the, the wrestling federation, the WEF. <laughs> um, no, the, 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 uh, the tyrannical globalist organization. Um, and well, Jacinta, what, whatever her name is, uh, just, just seems like an awful witch of a, of a person. Uh, and, you know, it, it, the same things are going that were going on in Australia seem to have been going on in New Zealand, except New Zealanders seem to be more more polite about it and just sort of just sort of sit around and let let it happen. Um, so uh, so that, let's let's finish our tour of the the Anglo Anglophile world or the Anglo world. So then let's go back to the old country, the mother tongue, the country of the mother tongue. You know, Great Britain. You know, it's better there than it than it was, um, since uh, their prime minister got got caught with his hand in the cookie jar, uh, telling everybody else, sternly reprimanding everybody else uh, that they needed to uh, to to stay indoors and stay away from other people and not and not uh, gather in numbers greater than two or something ridiculous like that, while he and his cronies. We're getting together and partying every night. Um, so as soon as that got exposed, then he pretty much dropped uh, all of the repressive measures that he was pushing. But God, what a what a disappointment that guy has been. You know, uh, he was he was the Brexit guy. He was the guy who was going to come in and be all uh, you know be all based. You know, like the the, the Trump type figure for the UK and uh, Boris Johnson. God suck um you know scotland and wales uh don't strike me as any better uh anybody who's watching can correct me if i'm wrong about any any of this now the one uh in ireland ireland 
<laughs> I feel like I feel like uh, Coach Jim Mora. Playoffs? Playoffs? Uh, those of the, those of you who are not sports ball inclined will not understand the reference. Um, but those few of you, few of you who are will 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 get what I'm uh, making reference to there. But uh, yeah, Ireland. The, you know the. Uh, again, people seem pretty docile. People seem pretty, uh, you know, okay with the uh, the NWO taking over. I know there have been protests. I know that there are hardy souls in all of these places who have fought the powers that be. Um, but uh, but I can't say that I'm too impressed uh, from what I have seen. Um, the one slightly brighter spot might be Northern Ireland. Um, and I hate to, you know, as a Catholic, I hate to say that it's the Protestant part of Ireland that, that's, uh, that's the base, the basest, uh, that's seemingly the basest, but the basedest. but that does seem to be the case. It's only in Northern Ireland with the Paisleyites, you know, where, uh, they, there seems to be a little bit more of a fervor uh, uh, for tradition and and to fight against um, all of this this new crap that they're that they're uh, lining up for us from on high. I just I I, I do get the impression that in Northern Ireland, uh, you know, there's a greater degree of traditionalism on display. I don't know the the, the Paisleyite party there, uh, you know, uh, who's uh, who holds holds very fiercely to traditions? Uh, they seem to have uh, some some sway over things. I know that it was in Northern Ireland that they uh, that, that, that that they ruled that um, you know some that uh, you know a bakery could uh, refuse to serve uh, a gay couple. Um, and when I've seen pictures of Northern Ireland, it doesn't seem like they've been hit as hard with mass immigration as other places. Um, I don't know, maybe that's changed, or maybe that's not true uh, uh, in some places more, more than others. Not that that necessarily, not that be, being whiter necessarily equates to being better. Uh, because there are some very, very white places uh, in, the, in the United States full of white liberals, and one of them is the the neighborhood where my parents live, uh, full of white people who I would not want to live around, uh, you know, and, and who I do not respect or support, you know, full of, with their virtue signaling signs in their yards, uh, you know, uh, in this, in this house, we believe that, that, uh, uh, black lives matter and that science is real and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, so where does that leave us? Have I pretty much covered the whole Anglo world, the whole English-speaking world? I think I have. I don't think I've left... Oh, well, there's South Africa, um, which I've been to. South Africa is a mess. I mean, South Africa's got its own problems. Um, I don't know the whole idea of moving to South Africa. That's sort of like uh, jumping from the frying, frying pan to the fire. Uh uh, but I, you know, I lived there, or, or I, I, and I didn't live there, but I, I uh, spent some time there for a couple of weeks in in late 2011. Enjoyed myself immensely, you know, um, and met a lot of really great people. Um, this is when I was writing an article for uh, Radix Journal, uh, which la which eventually got published uh, after a long uh, hiatus um, about the state of the Afrikaner world. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you know, uh, they've got Orania in, uh, in South Africa. I don't know whether, I don't know how well I would adjust to life in Orania. Um, you know, it's, it's not the English-speaking part of the country. It seems like the English speakers uh, in, in South Africa would tend not to be the ones who are uh, the, uh, who... who uh, who would want to preserve the, the traditions. Uh, just, I know I'm speaking in general terms here, and there are probably tons of exceptions. I'm just talking as one 
who face, you know, thinking about the prospect of, of eventually relocating, you know, and, and realizing I'm probably, you know, as many a problem, as, as many problems as this, this place around me, the place where I live, where I've lived for nearly all of my life has the American South. It, the, this may be the place, you, this may be the best place to be, uh, with the exception of maybe the, the, what, what do we even call it? The, it's not the Pacific Northwest because that's, that's, uh, Washington and Oregon and, and Northern California. And that's, that's definitely not a place I want to be right now. Um, uh, that's, that's a place where, you know, they, they're still wearing masks and crap like that. So it's either here in the American South or it's somewhere in the, uh, the, uh, barely populated mountainous states like Montana, Wyoming, and the Dakotas, um, that area. Um, unless I'm missing somewhere. Now, I really don't want to hear from people saying, yeah, man, it's even worse than you think here and blah, blah, blah. Uh, everything's terrible. I don't want to get these kind of, those kinds of demoralizing messages. So if you've, if you've, if that's what the way you're going to respond to this, just kindly don't respond to this. Okay. Uh, I, I already know things are, things are crappy all over. Um, but if you want to try to refine my, my search, uh, if, if you've got some ideas for me that aren't just this black pilled, uh, shit, which I hate, uh, then, then, uh, uh, by all means, let me know. Uh, and if I've been wrong, if I've spoken wrongly about any of these places, uh, then, you know, in, in a, in a, if you've got something to say, that's, that's good, you know, where I've just been, uh, bad mouthing these places, feel free to let me know that as well. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all soon.